G'day guys, Steve Morgan here from Fishing Monthly Magazines with JV Marine's Barney Friend. Barney, you and I are super keen fishermen and uh, we are introducing a new brand to Fishing Monthly readers today. It's Revival. It's a Melbourne, Melbourne built boat. Tell us a bit about them. Revival are uh, built in, um, by Sam Cantonese of Stagecraft fame. Been in Melbourne, everything's Australian made, everything's from Melbourne. They're a versatile boat. That's what we needed. Um, the, the iteration we have today, it's a cruiser style boat. When this one today we've got has got like full uh, full canopy all over it. Um, tell us what it's designed for and what it does well. Okay, this is a great little overnighter. Uh, it's a great day package for families and friends. But yet, within five minutes, I can turn this into an offshore fishing boat by removing it. So it basically breaks down. We set it up for another aspect. Versatility is the name of this boat. Now you've sold a lot of boats for JV Marine over the last few decades. Who's the one that makes the decision when it comes to buying a boat? The husband or the wife? It's always the wife. <laughs> it's always the wife, mate. Yeah. And a, and a boat like this helps get her across the line because the level of comfort's up there, isn't it? it? That's definitely the point. You can't just sell to a guy. You sell to a family nowadays. It's a lot more open. And if the lady likes it, well, you know the man wants it and that gives us a lead into selling a lot of these boats. Give us a couple of examples of some of the features of this boat that's going to make life comfortable for the family. Okay, you've got a, a magnificent cabin area with area for a porta potty, a double bed scenario so you can make it for your overnighter. You've also got a table so you can have lunch. You can remove or have the uh, camper back on the back. So if you're fishing, you take it off. If you're going to Gippsland Lakes, you're going to Weald and you have it on. You've got somewhere where you can stay very comfortably for that two, three day period. And the boat is very, very stable and that's probably the biggest point. So you don't have that seasickness approach to small kids and uh, the girls. I noticed this boat's very easy to get in and out of. It's got the little removable transom door. It's got the steps and the ladder. It's designed to be in as well as out of the water, isn't it? Very much so. It's an all round boat, uh, water ski, tow the kids on the tubes. You know, that's what I'm saying. It's a great weekender. That's the thing with this boat, versatility. Now, you guys are a brand new Mercury dealer now. You've got one of the three litre 150s on the back and I'm telling you now, that's a, that's a solid motor. How have you found the transition to black motors? Well, it's, it's amazing. Uh, I thought there might have been a, uh, a slow period. Wow, have two people accept Mercury? Uh, obviously, because of the might of the Mercury company, um, the profile of the motors, the reliability, everything's just so, it's just gone so easy. Um, and as a salesperson, man, I'm wrapped to have them on board with JV. Now this boat here, it comes on the um, it comes on the Dunbia trailer. It's a twin axle with mechanical brakes. Um, what sort of vehicle do you need as a family need to tow this around? Well, you can get away. It's under two thousand kilo, so you can get away with running this boat on a, a big, bigger sedan or a small SUV is the ideal sort of going away vehicle. So we're not requiring uh, electric brakes. It's a tandem trailer. Um, mechanical braking system, that's fine, bearing buddies. It's probably my favourite trailer in the Dumbia range. Now, this, all the superstructure here, how far does it fold down? Does this boat fit in a, in a garage? Yes, it does. We can get this one down to a height of around 2.3, 2.35 metres. We can change the boat into the cradle of the trailer. Uh, there's quite a few things we can do, but that's where we, we sort of come to. The new age houses of 2.15s, no. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't work. Fair call, and that's what we need to know, because when you're buying a boat, you've got to make sure you've got somewhere to put your pride and joy. Now, one thing I'm pretty impressed about this package, as, we test, as we're going to test here today, is the price. Um, what do these guys come in at? Well, when you see it maxed out like this, which has got everything, your sound has got the whole lot, look, looking around that $74,000 sort of range, which in comparison, it is very, very cheap. And you can start it off in the low 60s, and we can actually make this boat to suit the family. So you build your own boat type of effect and that's what we want. So they can come to you with the budget and what they want with the dimensions and you can get it to fit. Exactly what we like to do. And then we get everybody involved and we have the customers involved with the fit up, the build and all those processes and they become your friends and that's what we want in boating. Well, you're an easy man to like, Barney, and, uh, but what I like doing is I like getting these rigs on the water. So we're down here on the Patterson River today. We're going to take this revival for a spin on Port Phillip Bay and come back to you with some performance statistics.
Well, there you go. That was my first time in a revival boat supplied by JV Marine. And uh, I tell you what, it's a fairly decent hull. It's um, driving around Port Phillip Bay. There wasn't a combination of steering, trim and revs that I found where it was going to misbehave. Um, the 153 litre Merc, of course, it's a real uh, real solid unit. Um, it got up to 5,500 RPM where we could do 72 kilometres an hour. Uh, pretty horrible economy at that revs, uh, delivering 1.2 kilometres per litre burned. If you ease that back to three, about three and a quarter thousand RPM, we went 32 kilometres an hour, delivered 2.1 kilometres per litre burned. So the economy is right up there in, uh, in cruising speed. Um, 200 litres of fuel under the deck means that the theoretical range is up around 400 kilometres, which is going to be plenty for any uh, overnight or a weekend trip from Gippsland Lakes to the Gulf of Carpentaria. Um, let's uh, have a look at what I liked and didn't like about the boat. Um, I love the level of fit out for the price. Uh, this rig here, as tested, uh, which will have a 7 inch sounder in it, uh, 73,999. Um, look, it's, it's a good boat for the price. Um, I love the fact that the uh, the dash here has a big flat area, you can mount any sounder you like flush mounted in there and I love a flush mounted sounder in an expensive boat. Um, I love the fact that it's got a massive big kill box here so that if you're going to go out and you turn this into its fishing iteration without all of the, the canopies on, you can uh, you can put all of your catch in there with some ice, it's going to stay in great nick. Uh, and I also love the fact that the, the bilge area and the batteries are pretty well accessible. They're, it's simple, it's just open, the batteries are bolted to the ground and there's a little hatch to access the bilge area. Um, also some of the little extras like the uh, the LED cabin lighting, the uh, the C deck routed flooring, um, all make help make that package a uh, very pleasant and usable uh, outfit. Um, what I didn't like about it, I thought that um, it was a little bit noisy in the chop. This hull, you can hear that there there's some space underneath the hull. That basic flotation under there um, lets some of that noise come through, and even that the C deck on top doesn't really dampen it out. So I have been in quieter boats. Um, uh, but I also love the versatility uh, of this boat. You know, if you have to get the, the wife and kids across the line, you can swim out of this boat, you can fish out of this boat, you can do a weekend, you can stay overnight. Uh, the world's your oyster when you've got a nice enclosed area like we're talking in right now um, to do your work in. Um, as tested, as I said, around $74,000 gets you one of these on the twin axle Dunbeer trailer. For more information, go see Barney at jvmarine.com dot au or drop in or like them on facebook at jv marine but uh great afternoon on port phillip bay probably the most comfortable boat test i've done all year